Aha, Dinky Doo, everybody, it's just me, Scotty McClue, we're live on Facebook. I thought I'd pop up very quickly just to say hi to all of you. It's just after 11 o'clock, I've just done a quick periscope scope, and uh, I thought I'll pop up on Facebook, see who's about, and see if anybody was watching the leaders' debate tonight on ITV. So if you were, do please let me know, and let me know what you uh, what you thought of it i thought it was absolutely fantastic it was very very interesting and of course um did you notice that uh, mrs theresa may the british prime minister prime minister of the united kingdom of great britain and northern ireland at the moment um she uh, didn't turn up she failed to trap and the leader of her majesty's opposition mr jeremy corbyn he failed to turn up as well and I thought to myself, if you can't be bothered to turn up to debate, then do you actually deserve anyone's vote? That was my thinking, so there you go. Lovely to uh, know that you're there. Hi, Wadge. Hi, Jim Thompson, Tony Mack, uh, Jim Clark, Angie Thompson. Hello, Angie, Lexi Tracy, and Stephen McMahon. Hi, Scotty. Nice to see you, mate. Nice to see you guys. Uh, Fiona Summers watching, of course. Lovely to know that you're there, Fiona. Marie Milne, hi. They are fierties. Yes. Did you watch the debate, folks? And what did you think of it? Do let me know your thoughts. Scotty, remember the night we were winched to safety? Big Jim Thompson. How fantastic. I was thinking about you, buddy, and hoping you're all right. So there you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely to hear from you. Fantastic. Jim Thompson there. A very fine man. Great big chap. And uh, David Steele. Hi, Scotty. Good evening, David. Lovely to hear from you. Stephen Harry. Uh, that's fantastic. And Mary Carty watching. How good is that, guys? So I thought I'd just pop up. I hope you don't mind. And uh, let me know what you think of the debate. So there you go. Very, very interesting. Hi, Scotty, says Lexi. Lexi, did you watch the leaders' debate tonight on uh, independent television, uh, ITV? Fantastic. Super job. The host, Julie Etchingham, very, very professional broadcaster, great journalist. She did a wonderful, wonderful job. Tremendous. And the leaders on there. Uh, so there we go. Um, I felt it was trivia for Nic Nicola. Yes, well, Nicola is a very, very advanced. I mean, I think most people in this country wish that Nicola was the prime minister of the whole lot because they love her and they trust her. Watched. Is that not what you did when you were with your boy? Oh, winched. Is that not what you did with your boy or girlfriend in the close? Afford your mom caught you, says Angie. That's right. Uh, Scotty, did you know the finest soap in the world is made in Barra? No. Now, Gordon, you're full of good information. You wondered what I was going to say there, didn't you? Tremendous. And uh, is that the bowling gear, Scotty? Lol. That's right. No, no. Would I not have the, uh, would I not have the tie tucked into the shot if it was bowling would I not be sort of tucking the tie in and having it sticking up I wait to see if we can do the bowling tie like that that sort of thing but uh, just thought of smarting myself up guys so there you are yes are you winching you would quite often say to somebody if they were going out uh, or going steady so that was the thing well done and uh, Ian Aitken's watching Dinky Doo Ian lovely to know you're there a man of great common sense a safe pair of hands so there we are uh, now uh, I thought the debate was a lot of tripe said Sid Harris very very interesting he said would you like to see me interview the leaders is that what you all want hmm because uh, I would ask your questions and not put up with any nonsense so there you are um yes me tasted says Marie Milne so there you are. So you didn't enjoy it, guys? You didn't think it was great? Um, I have to say when um, the UKIP guy, uh, Paul, Paul Nuttall, said that, um, you know, he would scrap the uh, Barnet formula because Scotland was subsidised more than England, I nearly fell off my unicorn. It was uh, absolutely incredible. So I had to tweet that uh, if, if any of you are on Twitter, go and see Scotty McClure's Twitter account for tonight. Quite incredible. But um, I had to tweet and say, do you realise that Scotland subsidises England and the rest of the UK by £40 billion? 
pounds a year. Gets very little back for it. And um, if it wasn't for that, that's why Westminster don't want Scotland to go. It's simple. It's the dosh. Scotland keeps giving them the dosh. Wadge says you're the best, Scotty. I thank you, Wadge. I, Scotty, interview the leaders and give them the real people's opinions. Yes, I would. I wouldn't put up with any of the nonsense. I'll tell you that. Cheer, 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 says Wadge. Wadge, you are such a top man. Thank you for that. Now you're talking, Scotty. Get out there and get some real answers out of them. Absolutely. I don't know if the leaders would want to go head-to-head uh, -head with me. Uh, so there you go. Uh, now, uh, I don't have Twitter. I've got Instagram. The Wayne showed me how to use it. And I thought Twitter was an app for budgies, says Angie. Good one, Angie. Now, guys, I'm actually begging for a favour while I'm here. I know you're all saying, oh, I wasn't your one to tonight, Scotty. I knew there'd be something. No, 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 no. I just want every single one of you who has a YouTube account to go on and subscribe to Scotty McClure. I shall tell you for why. We've got about 840 subscribers. We've got about 290,000 people have viewed the YouTube videos. 290,000. But only 835, I think it is, have bothered their backside to click subscribe. Now, I know that you lot are not afraid of work. So can you get on there and click subscribe? Just put into your Google Scotty McClue YouTube channel. You'll see it pop up and there's a little red rectangle up to the right, I think it is, and it says on it, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And just click that, guys, and say, I've subscribed to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. There's Angie Mardo McRae, a very fine lady, watching right now. Dinky-do to you, Angela Mardo McRae, McMurdo McRae. So there you are, Angela, Angie McMurdo McRae. I had to read it out again, and sorry about that. Wendy McDonald Thompson and three others have shared the video. Thank you for that. Conversation starter tremendous. I'm half Scots, says Dave Muirhead. It's my right half. <laughs> David Lee Weir is watching. Terrific stuff. Now, guys, if any of you are feeling flush to the tune of £5 or £10 or £50 or £100, whatever you're feeling flush to the tune of, but if you're feeling flush to the tune of a fiver, please pop to www.gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue, take your plastic card and stick it in there. We're sitting at 400 quid, right? And what, I'm trying to raise 5,000 this weekend. So see if we can do that so we can get things on the move. Uh, it's a very sensible way to do it. I'm not at all phased by the fact that it's moving a little bit slowly at the time. Of course it is. We're in the middle of the, uh, the, the austerity and the Brexit and all that. But if you can spare a fiver, please pop it on there. Right. Um, now then, how's you, says Angie? I'm absolutely fine, Angie. Very much appreciated. I was thinking, believe it or not, about you very recently and wondering how you are and wondering how the family is. So there we go. Uh, tremendous stuff. Robert Baines watching Dinky Doo. Robert, did you see the debate on ITV tonight? And what did you think? Very interesting. Now then, hello, Scotty, says Andrew Wishmaster Williams. Andrew Wishmaster Williams, hello to you. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure, lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, can you keep sharing? You've done such a superb job. But sometimes I look at my notifications on Facebook and it says 143 people have liked your video. And I say, could they maybe share my video? as well please so go for the share rather than the likes i always go for the share with people i don't understand anybody that doesn't finley patterson dinky do to you finley scotty the way taxis are going out i'm going to make some moonshine says angie Shh, you can't tell anybody of the moonshine uh, we're all good thanks says angie excellent stuff send love to all my dear please thank you very much appreciated uh, and uh, also to the wee man, send him a big, a big hug, 
So there you go, a big hug. Now then, uh, what else have we got? Ha 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 ha! Says Wadge. Very good. Wadge, if you're a Twitter man, you uh, have a look at Scotty McClure's Twitter account for tonight. It's virtually been on fire. I say that metaphorically speaking, of course. So there we are. Tremendous stuff. Right. Uh, I'm going to push off. Didn't see the debates as Robert. Too busy grafting to watch these watch shyly about. Oh, no, no. You couldn't say that about uh, Miss Sturgeon. She's uh, a very, very, very hard grafter for this country, doing the day job so that the big prize of independence can be there. And also the UKIP guy was saying tonight how much he wants to be free and independent from Europe. Well, he'll understand how the Scottish people feel about being free and independent from Westminster. And uh, I'm sorry, but the Tory manifesto I had a look at today, there is nothing, nothing, nothing of any interest or help to Scotland or the Scottish people in that. So it may as well be a blank sheet. That would even have been kinder, because what's in the manifesto is of zero interest to Scotland or the Scottish people. There's nothing in there. Also saying about uh, Indiref will have to wait till after Brexit. This timetable's not correct. What should have happened, and listen to McClure here, you heard it here first, what should have happened is that you had Indiref 2. The Scottish people voted whether they wanted to be free of Westminster, right? Then you can have, a, after that, you can have your general election to give whoever's getting it the mandate. Then, after that, you have your Article 50 and your Brexit talks. That's the correct way to do it. Because somebody triggered Article 50 without the mandate from the people. Do you see where I'm coming from? Also, they triggered Article 50 and said, we're coming out of Europe without working out, do the Scots want this or not? We have to go to the Scots in the same way she's gone to the country and say, what do you guys want to do? Because things have changed. We weren't expecting the Brexit. We had a cat fight in the party. And here's what's happened. We're making a bit of a pig's ear of the whole thing. Our policies are bankrupt and they are also dreadful. We uh, robbed you all of all your savings so we could pay back our friends, the bankers. We didn't give you any loan stock notes or anything for that. And uh, we didn't give you any shares in the banks. We just took your money, which you can now borrow back at interest rates uh, to suit uh, us. And um, that's what's going on there. So old ladies were up at gold stalls selling their engagement rings to pay their electricity bill so that the bankers could be paid back. Now that is not good at all. So there you are. So that's what's going on. And then, of course, your Brexit. Angela McDonough. Hi, Scotty, and a kiss. Mwah! I send you a kiss back. Void, 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 says Michael McGuigan. This is the uh, Tory manifesto. Yes. And uh, what else have we got here? Giuseppe has joined us. Giuseppe Bacchetti. Welcome, welcome. Scusi, Bacchetti, for not being in touch. Giuseppe, I mean for not being in touch. Scoozy, scoozy. Uh, so there you go. Wadge says no good. No, it was absolutely no good, Wadge. And um, the, 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 the whole thing is people are going to have to have a serious think about where to put their vote. I don't think the Scots have a problem. I think they know where theirs is going, but people down south will have to have a think. Gary Edward Francis, Kumaske. Well said, big fella. Get them tilt. That's nonsense, Scotty. Bankers have nothing to do with it, says Johnny M. Linney. Are you seriously kidding me on Johnny? Are you doing one down the big man's leg here? Are you working me from the back? Whoa! Enough! Stop! Right, there we are. Angela Goodlett is watching. Dinky do, Angela. Lovely to hear from you. Right. It's time Scotty McClure pushed off and let you guys get off your bubbles. Lovely to see you. Now, here's the calendar for you. Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp here, 
Facebook Live. We're all together for one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment courtesy of your good selves. Share that and spread the word. Where's the monster raving loony party when you need them, says Robert Baird, screaming Lord Such, David Such, great character. He's having you on, Scotty, says Wedge. Check out 788-790 Finchley Road and 50 Lothian Road. Oh, very, very interesting. Right, thanks, Christine. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we'll have a look at all that. Now, uh, I am going to dash off, dash off, as we say, and uh, he's still doing the pies, says David Muirhead. Of course, fifty million pounds a year. Good night, Scotty Dinky Doos's Wedge. See you, Wedge. I shall sing the song, guys. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A wheat or zain or war and a cheery oh. Dinky Doo, my loves. Scotty McClue has left the building. Ooh.